Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. Okay, so in today's video, we'll do another Halloween style design. This is a nice sort of retro vintage groovy style Halloween design and we do a little bit of a cross niche between Halloween and you know book reading and so I'm going to talk a little bit about this sort of design style and how you can do this design if you're interested in this please do stick around so here we are on canvas homepage. I'm going to go ahead and make another Halloween t-shirt design for you so we're going to come up to the top where it says custom size. I'm going to select 4500 by 5400 pixels. And we are starting with a blank background. I'm going to go ahead and design for black. So I'm going to just pick black as my background color. Now we are going to do um, a kind of uh, groovy retro Halloween style niche because groovy and retro seem to be in a lot lately. And then we are gonna go ahead and kind of cross niche that with the book readers. And so there are a lot of different, um, you know, niches in or, you know, sub niches or whatnot for Halloween. And so the books are one of them. And so you may see a ghost design that says read more books and it goes books, whatever. Um, that is what we are going to do now. And so we can start by sort of picking our ghost. We're gonna use some retro style uh, background designs and some text and really make it look fun and, and, and sort of retro, but still in a nice, you know, cute kids sort of a way. So I'm gonna start by trying to find a ghost reading a book. And so we can either find a ghost reading a book or we can find a ghost and try to put a book in its hands. Um, depends how you wanna go with that, but we can see what our options are. So if you put a ghost uh, with book and see what comes up, um, here's a ghost with a book, here's a ghost with a book. This might not be the best way to go. So let's try again, let's say uh, reading ghost is I think what I put last time I was searching. Sometimes you gotta look different ways. So here's a cute ghost that's reading. That could be a cute kid style design. Um, you know, here's a nice retro looking ghost, lots of different ghost styles that you can go with. But again, we're looking for ghost reading. Right now that one's looking like the best one. You can also see if there's a ghost that looks like it would just lend itself to putting a book in its hand. So sometimes just the appearance of the ghost looks really good with a book, but I do like the face on that because it actually does look like it's reading. That's how it was designed. Um, and so it tends to go pretty well. Here's one where maybe you could put a book in its hand. So if I was to just take that one off to the side really quick, cause that's a nice retro looking one. And we can see if we can find a book that maybe looks like it goes with it. Let's see anything else that we like. Lots of just really cool ghost style designs that you can look at. Let's go ahead and look for, it's gonna be an open book. Let's see if we can find sort of the back of a book. I mean, so if you were to take a book and make it look like it was in the ghost's hand, something like that, maybe you can make it look like he's sort of holding it. I'm not loving the way that that is looking there. So I'm probably gonna end up going with this one because it's already done for me and that's always easier if you've got one that's sort of already done for you. Um, but you can always know what your options are. You can always try to create your own graphics as well. And so, I don't want you to feel necessarily limited. Here's one, I can change the color so I could put it, but the book looks really big for him. And if I shrink that book down so it's small, now it doesn't look like he's holding it. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with this guy right here. I like it. We got our little diamonds there. And so I think that that's gonna be really cool. So I'm gonna shrink this dude down put them in the center of the page. It's always better to design a little bit small and then just kind of group everything and resize it large than to decide design too large and run out of space. So I'm gonna start here with my little ghost man. And then I'm gonna start with some kind of groovy looking stuff. So 
One thing that you might notice a lot of is some checkered backgrounds. Um, I could just put checkered in and so you can see these sort of checkered looking backgrounds are pretty retro. They're popular and I've seen them used a lot. So we can pick one of these, maybe this one here that allows me to change the color. That way I can sort of change the color to a nice sort of orangey color that you might see if you were, you know, doing a Halloween style design. And so I can take this and I can send it to the back there and I just hit control and my left bracket to send it to the back there. And so that looks pretty cool. I could make it a little bit smaller if I wanted to. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could shrink it way down and then just put one on each side. So I could do something like this and then hit control D. I could move it something like this, crop it so it's under and then send that to back. And that looks pretty good too. So now it's just a little bit smaller. It's not quite as tall and it does line up pretty well. Maybe not quite the same size. Let's make sure it's perfect. There it is. And I can just put my little ghost man right in front of it there. And so that looks pretty cool. And now we're gonna go ahead and put some text up here too. So I'm just gonna pick a text box. And at the top, it is going to say, read more. And at the bottom, it's gonna say books. So I'm gonna start with my read more. And I'm gonna change the color to something I can see. So for right now, I'm just gonna stick with that orange color. And make that a little bit bigger. Now there's some cool Halloween fonts out there, some scary looking ones, but seeing as this is a retro design and it does look a little bit more like a kid style design, I don't wanna go with anything really scary. I'm not gonna go with anything that's really grunge looking because that wouldn't go with the look of the ghost or the checkers are not grunge, they're pretty solid. So I do want just sort of a solid, more retro style font. And so there's a lot of retro style fonts that you can choose from. For this particular design, I was gonna go with a font that's called Magic Flower. Now this may be one that I downloaded from uh, Creative Fabrica for free. So let's see here. I kind of liked the way that that looked. So it looks pretty good with the retro style. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. And then down here, I'm gonna put the word books. I'm just gonna go ahead, click here. I'm gonna control D, oops duplicate it, that just makes it easy so it keeps the font and the color and the size. <laughs> uh, books, read more books. I can even put an explanation, exclamation mark, wow. If I want to make that nice and big across the bottom of the page, make that line up pretty nice so I like the way that looks. This top one here, I'm thinking I wanna go ahead and curve it, so maybe I do some effects and I get a little bit of a curve, not too much, just, you know, so it looks like it's kind of rounding down. I can even put a little bit of spacing in between the letters if I want to, just so that they don't look like they're touching when I curve it. Now I'm not super worried about lining it up at the top of the page. I wanna make sure everything looks good around the ghost. And again, once I get my design the way I want it, I can you know, resize it or reposition it in the page however I want. I just wanna make sure that it's looking good within the design. So a little bit of spacing, but not too much. So something like that looks pretty cool. Now I am gonna play with these colors too, by the way, to make them look a little bit more groovy. I do wanna put maybe some bats or something in here just to, to give it a little bit more uh, design elements. So maybe we go with bats and lots of different bats. I can do individual bats or some groupings of bats, you know, kinda however I want, something that looks kinda cute. So let's say I take these bats and of course I need to change the color a little bit. So maybe I make them a little bit purpley and so they look kind of cool right there. Maybe I take one more bat and do it kind of more by itself. Again, I would want it to be the same color as the other bats, something like that. Maybe have that one flying away that way. 
and that looks pretty cool like that. I could also go ahead and just do some, just sort of, if I put retro, it's gonna give me different retro style um, design elements. So flowers aren't necessarily what I would want for Halloween, but some of the diamonds are pretty popular. So just now you can see the little diamonds here and I can do those individually, or I can try to find a grouping of diamonds that I like. So lots of different ways that I can sort of go with all of this. I could also just go ahead and put maybe retro Halloween and see what I come up with. So there's lots of cool, you know, retro Halloween style stuff that you can do. And so all of these are gonna look pretty cool. And so I like a lot of this. Here are some diamonds. These aren't gonna let me, they are gonna let me change the color. So those might be kind of cool just to put a couple of those little diamond things places. And of course I can change these colors here to make them whatever color I like. And so maybe I make that one a nice, maybe light purpley color. I could make this one a dark purpley color. Or maybe I make this the light purple and I make this more of the orange. Something like that might look kind of cool. I wanna make those nice and small. Something like that there looks kind of nice. And I could do it again. If I hit if I hit Control D, it should duplicate it. And I should be able to put it maybe up here. Something like that looks pretty cool. Um, maybe I wanna take these bats and maybe make them a little bit of a lighter color. So maybe something like that that or maybe a brighter color maybe something oops maybe not quite that bright i'll play with my colors a little bit though so i like that maybe i do that uh, maybe i take that bat there and i'm gonna go ahead and make him that color too there we go so it looks like it's coming along lots of different ways we can go there's some more retro things here under magic recommendations for different groupings of those sort of stars or sort of diamond shapes. So here's some diamond shaped groupings here that I liked too. And these ones will also allow me to just sort of change the color. So if I want maybe a grouping of three instead of two, or maybe up here, if I wanted three instead of two, I could do something like that. I do like the two up there better. So some of this is just playing around here. Let's see if I can come up with something a little bit better than what I've got. So that looks cool. I mean, I like the way the diamonds look. I'm not super happy with the ghost having these diamonds right here and right here. You can barely see it, but it kind of interferes with the background. One thing that you can do that I like now is a lot of times with these graphics, we can go to edit photo and we can do eraser stuff with them. So if I was to go to this new magic eraser, eraser tool, this is on the new editor and this is kind of convenient. What I can do is I can erase any part of the design. So I can just go ahead and go right over that and it should erase that diamond and then I can do it here too and it will erase this diamond and so anything that I don't particularly like I can just go ahead and erase it that way and so that's easy to do I could erase these they'll just sort of blend into a back a black shirt so I don't really mind them being there and so I can go back and now I've gotten rid of those diamonds that were just sort of cutting into my checkered pattern. And so that looks pretty cool there. So this is coming along. It's got a nice retro -y look to it. I'm gonna go ahead and play with some of these colors here now. So what I wanna do is change the colors of the letters. And so I can just sort of go with different shades of orange. So maybe I make one a little bit lighter, maybe I make one a little bit brighter. And so just sort of playing with where it falls. Um, there you go, like that. And I can just do different shades of orange. Make that a little bit brighter still like that. Lots of fun ways we can go with this. Something like that. So read more, it just kind of gives it a little bit of that kind of blotched look that I like with some of the retro stuff. Down here with the books, we can maybe add in some of these other colors too. So maybe we go ahead and add in some of the purple and maybe we add in 
some of the lighter shades here. Maybe we add in some green. Maybe I even throw in a little bit of the darker purple. Don't know if I like that. I mean, that looks pretty cool there. I can sort of maybe even go with the brighter color purple there from those. That looks a little bit better. Keep my orange or go with a lighter shade of orangey here. So you can see how I can just sort of play with them and they don't have to be in any particular order. That's the cool thing about the retro stuff is you want it to look a little bit more random. So I don't have to make this look really uniform like it's all going in one particular um, order. It can kind of look like it's a little bit mixed up and, and that's kind of cool too. And so you can play with it however you like that way. Um, I like that. And so that kind of gives it that little bit of a retro look. The only thing I don't like is this, that one right there. I don't like that. It's too yellowy for me. So I'm going to go ahead, move it back into the orange shades, maybe make it play with it until I get it a shade that I like. <laughs> maybe do it a little bit more like that. So at least it's not yellowy. And so I'm liking the way that that looks. It's a simple design. It works well for a kid's shirt. Um, it's very retro looking. We've got the checkered marks. I like the way that it flows. And so now I do want it a little higher on the page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click at the very top right corner, right outside my design. I'm gonna left click, hold down, and I'm gonna drag over everything, make sure I get everything included. And then I can go ahead and bring this up towards the top of my page that way. Make sure everything looks centered. And there we go. So that is ready to go, read more books cute Halloween design. You can market this for a teacher or for an English student. You can market it for little kids. So lots of fun ways to go with that. Just cute Halloween style retro design. And so I'm gonna go ahead, title it, read more books. And then I'm gonna download this. It will be a transparent background. It's a PNG and it is ready to go on a shirt or anything else that you feel like putting it on. If you have any questions about this, go ahead, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. So remember to try to incorporate some of that groovy stuff into your designs too. Don't just make scary Halloween designs and really try to niche down and cross niche and come up with different ways to make more unique Halloween style designs. Also make sure you do your research to see kind of what's popular, what's trending and, and all of that. So there's just a ton of different ways that you can go with Halloween. I've got one more Halloween video to show you and then hopefully we can move on to some other fourth quarter stuff. I will, you know, as we start to get closer, have some Christmas designs and other Thanksgiving style designs too. So you guys can kind of keep up with your designs that way. And um, yeah, I hope you guys are doing good and staying cool because it is hot out there. All right, take care. That's all for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.